Hi everybody, it's David and Huey and Charlotte <laughs> and today we thought we we're just gonna do like a little fun topic we are gonna talk about the gay slangs well some of them because there is so many that it would be impossible to just put in one yeah. video so the, the funniest one and the most uh, common I guess yeah and well I guess to our um, straight viewers out there who's not familiar with the terms this is gonna be a very educational session yeah this session is gonna be offensive. Yeah, so. by the way, offensive terms here, don't be offended, we're just using whatever words is out there. So let's start with the first one. Actually, uh, you probably heard this one, it's the bear. So the, the bear is actually a heavier, hairier kind of gay guy. So what would you call, uh, so I know that a bear is usually like someone who's older. A bit. So what would you call someone who's hairy and a bit heavy but younger? A cub. A cub. <laughs> so that's when you hear a cub is a younger bear. Basically. It's, that one's easy. Also while we're on the subject of uh, hairiness, if you see like a hairy guy but really muscular, uh, he's considered a wolf. True. So <laughs> well, in the animal kingdom, since we're there, I'm considered an other, so it's not muscly, not fat, not... <laughs> so a skinnier, hairy guy, basically, so... An otter. <laughs> yeah, so I'm an otter. Like, I'm really hairy, but I'm not fat. I'm not a young bear eater, so an otter. So another very common term is twink. So a twink is a skinny, young-looking guy, basically. Doesn't have to be a bottom or a top, but like, it can be any. Am I a twin? No, you're too muscly for that, I would say. What what would I be in the gay world? Well, I'm the gay gen. You're a dolphin. <laughs> I'm a dolphin, really. So as opposed to a twin, there is also the daddy, who is actually an older established man in the gay world. Well, and if he's really rich, then he's a sugar daddy. <laughs> yeah, sugar daddy. <laughs> I got myself a Splenda daddy. Without money. <laughs> a Splenda Daddy is basically a sugar daddy without the money. So you guys probably heard about this one. Uh, a fag hag? A fag hag is usually a girl who hangs out with a bunch of gay guys. But there's also a fruit fly, which, which is a better looking girl hanging out with gay guys. So it's like the <laughs> hot one. She's, a, she's not a hag, she's hot, so she's a fruit fly. So this one, actually I didn't even know, apparently, uh, blinds is what you call a foreskin. Exactly, so if you still have your blinds, <laughs> you still have your foreskin. They also call kosher, so if you're kosher, kosher? <laughs> I don't know. Kosher? Well, they, it's, I guess it's a reference to Jewish people which are cut, so if you're kosher, you're cut. <laughs> but if you have your blinds, you're uncut. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, it's kind of racist, I would say. Uh, yeah. But we're gonna be honest, like the gay community is still really racist. Yeah. So here are some of the terms um, that describe relationship among different races. Exactly. So there's the bean queens. Uh, the bean queens are actually uh, non-Latino that are only into Latino. And there's also the rice queen which is a non-Asian guy who's exclusively only dating Asian guys. And there's also the potato queen, which is uh, an Asian guy who is only into white guys. Also, there's the sticky rice, which is an Asian guy who only dates other Asian guys. And, still, <laughs> since we're into that, there's the white people who only are into white people are called the mashed potatoes. And a relationship between a black guy and a white guy is called Oreo. <laughs> yeah. And there's also the black people who are only into black people are called the black eyed peas. <laughs> but I don't really know where that comes from. <laughs> so a gold star is a guy who never had any contact with the with a vagina. Who's never had sex with a girl. Yeah. Hmm. So you're a gold star. But interesting enough, there's also another term called the platinum star. Platinum. That's the one you're looking for. 
So Platinum Star is basically a gold star who was born via, uh, via a C-section. So he never even ever came out of vagina. Never touch it even. <laughs> like how pure is that? <laughs> Are you a gold star? No, I'm not a gold star. I actually had a girlfriend for two years. Are you a gold star? No, I'm not. <laughs> so another term that we don't really hear often is the bone smuggler. The bone <laughs> smuggler is actually related to another term that we all know about is drag queens. So I guess it's related to the fact that they tucked in their balls <laughs> and dick under their Legs, I don't know. <laughs> smuggling bone. So it makes total exactly, sense. Exactly, you're smuggling your bone. Like you're hiding <laughs> it and <laughs> Also, well, let's shift focus a little bit into our uh, lesbian sisters. So, you probably already know um, a dyke means a lesbian. Yeah, and there's also a butch. So the butch is like the more masculine type. A butch can also be referred to as the chapstick lesbian. Uh, the reference is that the only makeup that they put on a chapstick. <laughs> and also this is also the lipstick lesbian who is the, well, I guess the more feminine yeah. um, lesbian in the relationship. There's also the pillow princess. So this is the kind of girl who is gonna like to receive oral sex from another girl, but it's not <laughs> gonna give it back. Oh, so um, in the gay term, there's also one. It's called a vegetarian. It's a guy, a gay guy who refuses to suck dick because he's a vegetarian. <laughs> so he's not getting meat. Uh, again, back to the lesbian side. Um, a straight or gay guy who always hang out with lesbians is called a Dutch boy. A Dutch boy. I don't know why though. What? I have no idea why it's called that. So we're gonna have to look into that. If you guys know, please let it in the comment below. So there's a term called the gay state. So basically it's a guy who, it's a straight guy who when wasted do gay stuff. My brother. <laughs> Hi Kevin. <laughs> Wait, so... So basically, when a, guy, a straight guy is getting wasted and he starts acting gay, like he's gonna grab his friend's ball or like put his finger in their ass or kiss them or whatever, even have sex, well, is I gay -sted. I Yeah, or oh, these guys, are, I would call them curious. Everybody's a beer away from being gay. <laughs> so what about, what is a gaydar? So a gaydar is your ability to guess if someone is gay, even if it's really hard to tell. So the, the highest rate you can tell someone is gay, it means your gaydar is really good. I have horrible gaydar. I have a very good gaydar. I could go in a hockey team and point at things. <laughs> this one, this one. Yeah, because you probably slept with them already. That's how you know. Oh well, jealousy <laughs> is one ugly thing. <laughs> so, you probably know what a bottom is, but do you know what a power bottom is? A power bottom is a bottom who likes to be in control. He likes to take charge. <laughs> Uh, there's also the opposite is a, no not really opposite, but there's also a total top, which is a top who refused to bottom ever. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that one. Yeah, it's called a total top or like a dom top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so here's another term, rosebud. <laughs> so it look exactly with what you have in your mind. Uh, like a rosebud, is referring to your butthole after intercourse. <laughs> so what it actually looks like, especially if it was rough. Ah, ouch. Yeah, but don't Google that. <laughs> also, do you know what cottaging means? Cottaging is a term referred to uh, men who meet up in public bathrooms to have sex. Which is very common back in the day when they really have no safe space to do it, so they have to... Mm -hmm. Why we never cut it? I don't know, like, it, it's really weird because when you go into some bathroom, you would see like a little note. I know, like, no, no, no. On the thing. I know, but I want to have sex in the bathroom. I never did that. Well, we can have, have sex in our bathroom. <laughs> in a public bathroom. No, that's very illegal and highly discouraged. 
Which re refers to the next time, vanilla. <laughs> vanilla. <laughs> Means you won't do stuff like cottaging. Because you're a vanilla boy. Well, he's a kinky boy. Well, kinky. I'm not that kinky. A little bit. I like to try things. <laughs> so, another one is, uh, you probably heard of this one too. It's called straight acting. It's basically gay guys who like to act straight. And uh, usually these guys also um, look for something they call mask for mask. Mask for mask is like when a masculine, a masculine guy only looking for other masculine guys. So discrimination against guys who are more feminine. Yeah. Another term, which is not really for gay people, but gay people call them breeders. <laughs> so the breeders are the straight because they actually making babies. <laughs> And also, uh, another term is, have you heard of the term flip-flop? Oh, that is so much fun. Flip-flop is when, um, like, during sex, like, the top and the bottom would often flip. Like, the top becomes the bottom and the bottom becomes the top. Yeah, so I guess, I guess you can call that versatile. Yeah. Basically. So that's all we have for today and we hope that helped open your mind to some new vocabulary. And again, leave a comment below if you have anything to suggest or don't forget, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Bhutan, I can't have this one right. <laughs>